from Subban deflected wide. And they're on the ice to celebrate. The Pittsburgh Penguins have done it again. Back to back Stanley Cup victories. Last year, his first pass was to Trevor Daly. This year, who will it be? Ron Hainsey. Over 900 games without ever making the playoffs, and in his first playoff year, he's won the Stanley Cup. Welcome to the Air Canada Centre. The Leafs back in action tonight as they entertain the Minnesota Wild. The big news today, Austin Matthews, after having played in 104 consecutive games, including playoffs, will be game to game, not playing tonight. So that means there's going to be added pressure on the team all round. He got here and a very interesting guy. You know, I was eager to, you know, kind of get to know, pick his brain. Obviously, he had a great year last year, you know, winning the Stanley Cup, but beyond that, you know, you're in the room talking about guys prior to the game, you know, his name would always come up, you know, as a guy that was a uh, veteran, had a lot of respect from his opponents. I think we complement each other pretty well. You know, we kind of let each other do our things and you know, we talk a lot on the bench. We talk about how we can make each other better. Hit from behind, but got the puck free, but it's stolen back, and a shot from a sharp angle, they score! He's extremely responsible with the puck. He's always talking, he's always kind of controlling traffic, so, I mean, I just try to listen to him and just try to make it easy on the both of us. And he really knows how to play the game. You know, he's been in this league a long time. He's had great success. He's played on some good teams. And you know, obviously the run that he had last year had a big influence on the player he is now. So to get a chance to play with him has been exciting. Nylander to Riley. Riley first shot. The puck scores! My grandparents had season tickets to the Whalers, so they started to take me when I was three. I have a lot of memories going to the Hartford Civic Center. I was a big Ron Francis, Kevin Deneen, all the big players from that time. When I was eight, the team I played for took the three of us who were kind of the biggest and best skaters, I guess. So I could at least skate backwards. I was a forward up until that point. And Turned the three of us into defensemen, and that was it. We knew Montreal had two picks in the first round, so they had come to see me a couple times for interviews and stuff, so we definitely thought that was a possibility. The Montreal Canadiens are proud to select from Lowell, Ron Hainsey. The Canadians go with the defenseman. Ron Hainsey, whose home is in Bolton, Connecticut, a confident young man who's a defenseman that shoots left, six foot two, 190 pounds. I was there four years. It just never got out of the blocks in a great way for me. My first year was decent. I spent the whole year in the American League in Quebec City. I made the team my second year coming out of training camp. I was kind of in and out of the lineup. Just never could really get much traction and, and gain much responsibility there. I got picked up off waivers in November, and the team was struggling, a lot of injuries, so I was fortunate. From a personal standpoint, you get to play a lot with a team like that. Didn't have much to lose by rolling me out there for some ice time. And he and Hainsey continue to discuss it as Jay Scherers gets between them. By my second year, Ken Hitchcock took over, and the team uh, really started to improve in all areas, and over time, I was kind of being used in all situations, and had grown into a little bit more of a complete player by that point. Every day is an opportunity when you're in the NHL to, to impress someone. If you had a bad day uh, the day before, uh, you come in the next day, get to work, have a good game, help your team win, get feeling better about yourself, and maybe get on a roll. Everyone has struggles at some point. Everyone plays bad at some point. Everybody makes mistakes. Really, it's how you come back and 
over time consistently and find a way to help the team win. Stall waits, waits, found a man moving in the backhand of the score. The Carolina Hurricanes, Ron Hainsey, moved up and got the game winning goal in overtime. I wasn't shocked just because of the you know the business aspect of it. Obviously going into the year, you know the score of the game here when you're older. Contract up and a team that's not gonna make the playoffs. Um, there's a high likelihood of being on the move. 17,000 plus inside the Bridgestone Arena, 100,000 outside as the Pittsburgh Penguins play for their second consecutive Stanley Cup and the Predators play to save their season. Here's a chance and a shot. Murray makes the save. I was very excited. If you could pick a place, that would certainly be one of them. You know, a team coming off a championship trying to defend. Uh, they had a need because they had so many injuries on defense when I got there. It's rolling towards the goal line, not enough for us. It means he gets back. It was a great spot for me personally to, to go in and be able to have a, a chance to play a big role on a team going forward. I think, you know, the desire to win, you know, reaches another level. And so uh, desperation and pressure, I guess, gets raised to the highest level because lose four, you're out. And nobody wants that, obviously, once you do all the work to get there. A lot goes into it, seems to go by real fast. And to closing it out in the next minute and a half and then having the cup in your hand seemed a little bit surreal at the time. Being in the playoffs last year, I didn't get to follow the whole series, but you know, I followed a lot of that first round series against Washington. Push that team to the limit, and that was a great team, Washington. They were really set up to, to do a lot of damage last year. So obviously a, a great staff been put in place here over the past few years from the top on down. People who've had success, won Stanley Cups in this league. And the young talent here can match up with anybody in the league, so this is certainly an ideal opportunity. I knew obviously he had great wheels and could skate. You know, it's hard to judge players when you're playing against them out there. You know, you got so much to worry about in your, your own game. He has the ability to get up in the play, use his skating, start the rush, move it, and then get up and, and help create things offensively. And I think we've seen a lot of that. We're almost through 20 games, and I think he's been real dangerous out there. At the same time, you want to do all that while being solid in your own end. You know, there's things every game that go wrong, little plays you make that you wish you did differently. Communication things, there's always stuff to work on and get better at. But on the whole, we've got off to a decent start, but we need to continue to improve and continue to hopefully keep teams on their half of the ice so we can create some offense and score some goals. You talked to Ron and Morgan. What have you liked about Morgan maybe more this season than he's had that? He gets told what to do on every shift and every play. I think that helps a young guy. And the only thing it does is it settles you down. The coach can't be at the back of the plane, at the back of the bus, at the team bus. It's impossible. You need a whole bunch of coaches, and these guys have done it, and they got the respect. But they do it in such a way that they're not nagging. They're just doing it. The more you talk, the more you execute in D zone, people that are confident. You can hear them all over the rink yelling for the puck. You can hear Ron Hainsey in the booth. Some guys you never hear. That's why they never have the puck. Hockey weather has certainly arrived here in New England. Yes, it's that time of the year where you break out the thicker blazers. The Maple Leafs certainly felt it when they landed here around 12.30 last night. Austin Matthews, of course, was not among them. Will miss his third straight game this evening with an upper body injury. An incredibly busy stretch for the Maple Leafs tonight. Their eighth game in 13 nights, but they do have four off days waiting for them on the other side of this one as they look to make it forward. He's not, but he is a garden legend. Welcome to the back half of the National Hockey League Home and Home.
There's a group of world-class players playing against you that are trying to accomplish the opposite goal as you are. Each team likes to do different things. Each player do different things. It's important that you know your opponent. And as a pairing, I mean, you want to work together. And when you're out there with Haynes, you always feel like you have a, you know, a safety net, and he's always going to be in the right spot. A lot of it's instinctive. You make decisions. You hope most of the time they're right. Sometimes they're wrong. More of it is day to day, taking care of yourself, being prepared. And that's what your focus should be. It's on those 82 games to play as well as you can. There's some nights you're not going to have it. You know, a big part of being a consistent pro in the league is the nights you don't have it is not hurting your team. And those are the nights where can you just make it through that game or do you just turn into someone who really hurts the team? You know, those are things that you learn over time that are important. We try to help each other out as much as we can. We understand that you know we're out there together, and he's been around long enough to understand how the game works. He really does a good job of kind of controlling traffic and making sure everybody knows what they're doing. He's kind of like the main voice that we listen to back there, and you kind of do what he says, and you know usually works out for the best.